Captain America, a famous motorcyclist, even though so far we've only seen him drive a car. I can't hear a thing through this hood. He's credited separately because Grant is such a distinct personality from Cap. Lorna Gray, Jean's sister who didn't make it into the X-Men. Lionel at will, Commander. Mayor Randolph, who will of course warn Junior Asparagus about the magic bean. Weird that Gruber is the one who wasn't in the scene involving a vault and a skyscraper. Frank Reacher, the Asylum version of Jack Reacher. There are 15 episodes of this. I will make a pun on every name in the credits before we're through. So, in case you missed the last episode, Captain America actively killed at least three people and showed up too late to prevent the deaths of two others. Why did a guy named English co-direct Captain America? Chapter 2, Mechanical Executioner, the story of a self-driving Tesla. Captain America, seen here in his awkward yearbook photo, surprises the Scarab's agents after they did all the bad stuff he should have prevented. Sean Penn and Seth MacFarlane. It sounds like a really boring fight is happening. Let us see it. I'm going to hump this chair over. The fight scene's so nice, we got to watch it twice. Man, Danny Elfman has been phoning these scores in for over half a century. Such a fine line between fighting and hugging. This cap's no red brown, but he's still got a railing kill in. I got a feeling of deja vu! Boy, if Civil War happened in this universe, Cap would be lucky to get NFL Super Pro on his team. Let me in, deja vu. Do any of you know the combination? Yes. Set point at zero. Okay, so this guy can say numbers out loud. 17. Wait, it's playing radio stations. Did you get this vault from Peg Leg Pedro? The vibrator. It needs to shut off the building will collapse. Get out, I'll try to stop it. No, somebody's taking apart my Lego building. And the steeple falls through Timothy Dalton's chin. The stakes would be clearer if I knew what floor they were on. Why bother shooting the door? It's going to collapse in seconds anyway. What, was this building built by Boeing? Damn you, Frank Lloyd Wright! Little trick you learned from Woody Boyd. Yeah, I really put in the effort to stop it, Cap. So the resolution to the cliffhanger is he escaped by escaping. One of our finest buildings destroyed. That was one of your finest? Lost if Captain America hadn't appeared. I'm not trying to discount Captain America's help, Mr. Mayor. I was merely pointing out that the danger is all over now. The stolen plans of the vibrator were destroyed, along with the only two criminals who knew how to operate it. The scarab is completely disarmed. Yeah, scarabs aren't known for arms. You know that Matson got away with most of Professor Dodge's papers and plans? What were the plans? The most important one was for Dodge's portable electronic firebolt, a machine that generates an electrical charge powerful enough to cut through steel and concrete like a bolt of lightning. Okay, so electrocution is our next kink. But they don't have the weapon, merely the plans, and in code that will baffle even the mysterious scar. I just know that it will, somehow. Arts and sciences, both in a race to see who can be defunded the fastest. Ah. We're getting nowhere. Slylock Fox has outwitted me for the last time. We've got to decode. With the electronic firebolt, all the wealth and art treasures of the world will be mine. Or at least all the ones within driving distance. Since we can't break the code, I shall have to persuade Professor Dodge to do it for us. But Dodge is under police protection. Yeah, but have you the seen the police around here? He'd be safer with Barney Fife. They won't stop me. I'll get that information from the DA's most trusted assistant. Jeeves? Miss Gail Richards. Oh. Yeah, Gail, just go box out of the car in, why don't you? Hmph. All the other DA assistants get to work from home, but no. The power of the Schwartz. Well, that's why you couldn't decode the plans. Your decoder ring is a hypodermic needle. 
Careful, your hat will get stuck on the hair on the lens. How are you, Miss Richards? I was introduced by the district attorney. Remember? Of course, you're Dr. Maldor. Oh, God, have you been eating Cheetos? Your ring. It's sharp. It's crushed me. For a purpose, Miss Richards. Oh, well, as long as it was for a purpose. You are under a powerful hypnotic influence that forces you to obey me. From a finger prick? But Super Soldier Serum is too far-fetched for this cereal. In the district attorney's apartment, suite 304, Winston Arms. So he's secretly hidden at the DA's super-secret home, which nobody could find without the white pages. There's a policeman in the apartment with him. Now listen carefully. Look at her face. She's doing a great impression of the audience. I tell you from the man who is guarding Professor Dodge. And tell him that two detectives from the district attorney's office are coming over to question him. And he will tell them what makes a ball bounce. As the effect of the serum will be working off in a few minutes. When it does, you will remember nothing that has happened. Oh, buddy, this scene doesn't need a serum to make it forgettable. I understand. Good. Then go quickly. I guess that's quickly compared to a snail on lithium. Let's see, I came into this room to do... something. Oh, he lets her touch the phone. I'll answer it, Professor Dodge. Okay, I want a chart of who can and can't touch the phone. Hello, Clancy speaking. I'm just here in case of any clear and present danger. Two of the DA's men are coming over to question Professor Dodge. All right, Miss Richards, I'll let them in. Thanks, Clancy. Saw man's toot, Clanky. God, having to talk on the phone always takes so much out of me. Da, 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 da. Oh, damn. Oh, God, now this douche nozzle. Say, what's the matter? I don't know. I feel dizzy. What you need is fresh air. I suppose you drive over with me to St. Professor Dodge. Shouldn't I sit down and rest if I'm dizzy? Nonsense. Listen to me. I'm a man and I know what's best for your woman problems. I won't be long. I changed my mind about you getting to see Dodge. I get that they're hiding a witness, but shouldn't Grant have a key to his own apartment? Hello, Clancy. How's everything? You're covering, Mr. District Attorney. That's right. We gave your original songs to Alien Ant Farm. He's seven year itching. Damn, I knew I should have bought a hat rack. This is curtains for you. This is a dark Muppet Show cold open. For murder. This won't be murder. You're going to commit suicide with your own gun. Yeah, we could have inferred that part. You just couldn't stand the disgrace of your constant failures. Oh, just shoot him and skip the fanfic. The kidnapping of Professor Dodge was the last straw. Classic suicide from six feet away. Ballistic reports see that all the time. Hmm, I shot the district attorney wouldn't make for nearly as catchy a song. Hi, Abe, sweetheart, how are ya? Oak Ridge 631. Man, who chose this carpet? I should have shot his decorator. Hello, Joe. This is Tate. Now listen, when Matson gets there with Dodge, tell him everything's okay. I just took care of the DA. You think it, Nick. So his most consistent skill is pretending to be shot. First cop that you might gun is always a blank. To be fired as a warning shot. Well, that's convenient. Blank ex machina. Now I can't remember if my gun has a blank in it. Ooh, I loved this level in Rebel Assault 2. He shot the soundtrack! So that first shot being a blank is definitely going to come up again, right? It's important to establish it now so it can pay off in the future. Yeah? Another man dead at the hands of our hero. Cap's kill count has far exceeded the scarabs. This is the district attorney. Never mind He's which district. Supervisor and find out the address of Oak Ridge, 631. Call me back here. Good work, the Shadow. Or Captain, whoever you are. Hey, any of you lot put a man in the cupboard? 
Okay, so Clancy may or may not be dead. No idea what this adds to cap stats. 1019 AM, rocks the mic. Watson Feed Barn. Elementary, my dear Watson Feed Barn. If they started showing this run a second later, I'd be completely lost. Matson is taking Professor Dodge. I'm going after him. Clancy's up in my apartment out cold. You phone the commissioner to tell him what happened and then take care of Clancy. Right. It's honestly really flattering that they trust us to remember any side character's name. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Bravo Farms... There is a clown to the left of him and a joker to the right. Better change your mind and tell us the code key to these plans. No. Man, the pig pen meet and greet during peanut celebration is rough. Start the tractor. Okay. Captain America and a tractor? This is like California Adventure, the Eras Tour. <laughs> Banished from the island of Sodor, Terence is out for blood. I know I'm supposed to be struggling, but I'm just happy to be lying down. Do they really need the intimidation tactic of running over a balsa wood birdhouse? Oh look, it also squishes round things. Scared yet? <sighs> he tried to kill me with the tractor, just doesn't have the same ring. Next they throw down a treasure chest, a ratty old sofa, and the Venus de Milo. Okay, the steamroller in Austin Powers ran over Michael McDonald faster. <laughs> But first, I gotta put that tractor back. It's important to clean up after ourselves. All right, buddy, now show us where Waldo is. I'll have to show you in writing. All right. But no tricks. I'm a Fruit Loops man. I'm in a hurry. Better speed up this rear projection. This serial has more people writing down codes for each other than it does Captain America. Go ahead. Well, specifications and letters instead of numbers. Code is based on the ten-letter word Davenport. The level 9000 Yadru Druid? Time for the Rural Magic Mike experience. I guess he was waiting until he showed up to determine if this was more of a DA or a cap job. All there is to it. This better be right. Tie him up again. Ugh, tie him, untie him, tie him. Why don't you lift a hand around here sometime? <laughs> Wait, I didn't see him climb that rope, so how did he get up there? Take me back to that scene of him running out of the building. Grant, Grant, Grant of the farmhouse. This gritty reboot of Green Acres is weird. You know what I love about this serial's fight scenes? They're so distinct. This new Cirque du Soleil is underwhelming. Oh no, if you hurt that stool, Norm Peterson will never forgive you. Should have called this Watson Crate Barn. Maybe this fight would look more interesting with some biffs and pows on the screen. You want close-ups of guns? This episode's for you. Pillow fight! Chair scoot! My generation's get-up noise! Ooh, using the ladder. This could be interesting. Or not. Wait, I can return this to Neptune for the key to the first door to get to Valenice. Here comes the pitch! <laughs> Perfect aim, no notes. Now you're just helping him jump on top of you. Hey, even tied up, your aim's gonna be better than Maxon's. Okay, what is the geography of this barn? After all that, he was done in by a baguette. Ah, damn, every bullet in that gun is just a blank to use as a warning shot. So the stupid tractor is the titular mechanical executioner? And people said the Mandarin twist was underwhelming. It's k, -k, -k, -k ken k, k coming to k, k k kill me 
Yep, it can still run over those things. Still true. Uh-huh. What's coming for me? Nah, that's not worth waking up for. Dodge is scared, but he's silently scared. Well, it's impossible for a person to wake up at the last second and move, so I have no idea how Cap will get out of this one. For a black and white cereal, they sure like name-dropping colors in their titles. Well, once again, Captain America faces certain doom. Maybe this time he'll really die and get replaced in the next episode by Steve Rogers or Sam Wilson. I may not know how Captain America's gonna get out of this scrape, but I do know how I got out of the scrape of coming up with jokes for this riff. It was with the help of my patrons, namely these patrons who joined me on a few Patreon exclusive live streams. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge will get you access, and $2 will get you an early look at the rest of this month's videos, including next week's riff, which I think might be an entry in that newly announced never-ending story cinematic universe, but it's about phones? I'm not sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go test the strength of my tractor on a bunch of flimsy wood, so until next time, this is Dave, signing off.